I live in the Bay Area. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, her district is San Francisco. So our local news channels really pushed Nancy Pelosi and what she was doing with the impeachment process. Uh, I looked at the Robert Mueller investigation. I looked at the James Comey investigation. You had 22 months of hardcore investigating. Found nothing. And then they ran a 10-month investigation, and they still found nothing. So, and then when you look at Trump's success in the first three years, I'm like, why are they trying to do that to him? He's done great. And what they, when they found nothing, both times on those investigations, they're still trying to overthrow his presidency. So, and then coronavirus made me support him even more because, I mean, it's the leader of our country. You know what I mean? Forget the name Donald Trump. It's the leader of our country. And we're in a pandemic and you want him to fail? Like, people need to be more upset at the World Health Organization with their disinformation, as well as the media lying to us about hydroxychloroquine. It's anti-American to bash your president in a time like this. So there's many reasons why I support Trump, but hopefully I gave you a couple good ones. One reason that I'm endorsing Donald Trump is he's pro-life. He's pro-life. I'm endorsing President Trump because I believe he's fighting against the corruption and fighting against the deep state. Uh, he's had taken a lot of people who are human traffickers out of the picture. Um, I believe he really loves the country. And he's standing up for freedom, which is what we are all about here in America. Um, I decided to because I saw this guy come in and start to just shake everybody up. And then after he got elected, I saw him come in and actually, you know, do what he said he was going to do. I see him putting America first, which put a lot of people back to work and people were struggling, man, especially here in California. So, like, you see that, like, he put money, his money where his mouth was, you know, literally giving up his salary and donating it. First time a president's ever done that and he's lost money. So it's like... <coughs> You know, all this virtual signaling going on around here today and it's like I you always think to myself that they put their money behind it and this guy is so you know I, I, I like everything he, he's about and what he's talking about and what he's he stood on so I thumb down. Pretty much just for 100 percent freedom. Trump everyone has an American flag for Trump. Why does no one have an American flag for Biden? That's weird to me. Freedom. I see you have Mexico flag, right? Yes, sir. So why did you decide to endorse President Donald Trump? Uh, you just have to do your research, bro. Um, he's not racist, you know. He might not be woke, well, well, you know, good spoken, but he's not racist at all, man. We just have to do our research, do your homework, and then you come to the table, sit down, and we can have a general discussion about it. Uh, because Donald Trump is fighting for the average American, the America that's left behind. Our jobs are going to China. Um, no one is, is fighting for the, the, the standard of living for Americans. It's degrading. We have someone who's a champion for the American people, who's bringing all kinds of people together, Latinos, Blacks, Jews, you name it. And we're, we're gonna come together and bring this home for President Trump, and that's why I support him. I voted Democrat for 55 years. And in 2016, when Hillary said that they could abort the baby at nine months, I was done. I decided to vote for Donald Trump because he does not believe in abortion. I don't believe in abortion. And Donald Trump has done more for Afro-Americans, Hispanics, and Mexicans, and our races than any other president of the United States of America. Victory on, on November 3rd. Because he truly cares about Americans and America, he's an amazing businessman. He's done amazing things in this administration in the last four years, more than any other typical politician has done during their term. I'm excited to see that he's draining the swamp and um, he's broken the mold on what politics Jews traditionally for is. Because he lived up to the promises he made four years ago. I used to be the official ambassador of this city and I used to see him on Rodale Drive with the Miss Universe when he'd do that. And he's a businessman. And everything he says he's done, I'm gonna do, he's done it. Promises made, promises kept. Um, very down to earth person. I saw him here during a fundraiser. He said, oh, hi, Greg. He came right up to me. Here's a picture. So I like him. And by the way, there's something I must have given him. His first wife was Czech, if you know that, Ivana. So there's something about it. In 2016, I believed what the media was telling me, that Donald Trump was racist, and he said this, and he said that, until I started watching the man speak for myself. And then I started to notice that the media was twisting his words and telling me all of these things, and I noticed it was a pattern. And then I started looking, in, and looking into things for myself and just watching the, uh, Trump speak for myself and make my own assessment. and. 
He's not racist, and I think freedom is on the ballot this year. And if you don't like these lockdowns, you better vote red, because they're going to continue under blue rule. He's pro Second Amendment. He's had the best economy before, before, before this COVID thing came in. And you know, I feel like he's going to do the best job in the next four years. Bottom line. He is all for peace and love and for unity. During his four years, we haven't had any wars whatsoever with the other presidencies we have. And I think he truly, also I'm Jewish, so he really advocates for us. And he just wants unity. And I know people may not respect and him, Biden is but a we don't need that in our country. We just need someone to fix the mess that Obama made. Yes. Also, because of because of Trump, Palestine and Israel are tight. Yes. And we, we love Kuvu. We, we, we share Kuvu. We love everyone, but we have what you stand for. <laughs> Why? Because uh, when the lockdowns happened, I realized that what he was saying about the fake news was true. When you saw the riots going on and the news are completely ignoring the riots, uh, something's up. And then little by little, you started putting the pieces together of what he's been saying regarding the fake media. Because I do not want a socialist country. I don't want communism. I don't want... Uh that we are going to be bottom of the line from all the countries, America first. Just, just freedom, uh, less uh, government, and yeah, American first, absolutely. Well, I love that he's pro-American. I don't think I've ever seen an American president hug and kiss the American flag the way that he has, and I just love his patriotism for the country. Yeah, I know, he, he can talk a lot of shit, excuse my language, but he's pro-American, and he doesn't care about what anybody thinks, and I love that about him. He's not, yeah, he's a politician now, he's his president, but he's not like your typical politician, and he doesn't kiss nobody. Yeah. Oh, excuse my language. Pro-life. Been nominated for four Nobel Peace Prizes just within the last month and a half. There are countries that are accepting Israel. Um, he's fighting for religious freedom. He may not say things in the nicest way sometimes, but it's his actions that make all the difference in the world. And I don't want somebody that talks pretty to me and then kicks me when I'm down. I want somebody that's not necessarily a nice guy, but is going to, every promise that he's made, every campaign promise, he's kept or attempted to keep when the Democrats aren't in his way. That's, I mean, those are just a few of the reasons why I'm supporting him. He's make things faster, and, like, because it's so bureaucratic in, in Washington and stuff, he's taken that part away. And I know that a victory for him was getting Amy Comey Barrett in. Whether win or lose, I got that Supreme Court person in there. And that's a big win, so it's going to be conservative in the Supreme Court for the next 50 to 70 years. That's a plus for us if you're on the conservative side of things. But yeah, he's, this guy's a fighter from all the heat that he takes. Whether you like him, dislike, agree or disagree, he's a fighter. And as a lot of Americans, that's what Americans like, right? We love fighters in this country, um, even if the odds are against them. We always rally. People like that stuff, even if they like they like when your back is against the wall and see how you respond to that. And he's doing that with a lot of media. Big thing you ask, media, especially with the media, specifically that. We were getting to see a lot of the Democrats come out and see kind of their power grab, because they always carry themselves very virtue signaling in high regard and never, uh, they like to paint themselves in a good light. And Donald Trump's exposed a lot of that. And that's something, you know, needs to be shown, I think. And because we keep on, he's gonna make uh, this country free, and it, he's gonna help for uh, freedom in Cuba. Just take away all the communism for this country and for the whole America and for Cuba too. Thanks, Trump. Thank you. Thank you. What would you tell people who will tell you that Donald Trump is racist? <laughs> I'm like, if he's a racist, I like this type of racism because it's given up more opportunity to black people than ever before in black communities, $500 billion promise. 
actually talking to people who want to make uh, make changes in the black community, not saying we're going to wait till after election. Sitting down and talking to Kim Kardashian and uh, and uh, uh, Van Jones and the First Step Act that he did in the first six months that released 7,500 people, 95% of them black and brown, and giving ch second chances to felons who he released that were nonviolent, reversing Joe Biden's 94 crime bill. So it's like, look, if you think you just want to say races, I ask you, what really matters? Life and opportunity or platitudes? I mean, we've been talking to this gentleman for, you know, the past half an hour. He's a Biden supporter. Obviously, we're Trump supporters. We're here having a conversation. He has a right to his opinion. It doesn't, I don't care, you know, what he thinks. He has a right to it. Just like I have a right to mine and you have a right to yours. And, you know, there is every color, every race every religion there is a little bit of everybody here and the only thing we're doing is you know saying that we're proud americans that's it that's all we're here for